Hey, welcome. So I want also to quickly to do uh, give you an uh, update on the Stockify app uh, so far where we have reached. So I'm just on the hosted version. Okay, uh, and uh, on the dashboard now we have a few analytics that we added. You can see we have total number of sales, eight, total revenue and total orders plus the total products. And this uh, data they are coming live from the database okay and then we have here recent uh, orders these are just like the last orders you can see uh, the amount of money here if you add this you should be getting this okay so um, i'm just going to go ahead and show you uh, two things the first one is going to be the point of sale Okay, so we updated the point of sale and right now it looks so nice and the first thing is we added the uh, search functionality and this in the point of sale is very crucial uh, to be able to search for, you know, search for products. Uh, this is really, really very crucial. So you can just go ahead and just say, for instance, uh, search for the Murphy something. So you can see it has a live, uh, live search. Like so, we just say HP and they have two HPs. Okay, like this. So the search functionality is working really properly. That's why it is even short. You don't need a longer one because by the time you finish, you already have the uh, product uh, back here. So let's just go ahead and search for, uh, add something. We just say search for maybe a Murphy, something like, okay, add this. And then I'm just going to remove this and then add another one, maybe high sense. And then just add this. Okay, first of all, you can just look at the quantities of these products, the stock. Okay, uh, this Hisense has a uh, has this 771. Okay, and then this other one, the Murphy has 588. So I could just go ahead and make sure that this, we add eight, so that it becomes 580. So I'm just going to make these ones eight uh, uh not that one uh this one let me leave it to one and so i'm just going to make this one eight so this one must reduce to 580 this one must be 770 uh when this order is successful first of all we have this uh clear you can just go ahead and clear this off okay instead of removing one item one item you can just clear them off and Another thing is that you can just go ahead and add them back. Okay. And now, uh, let me just remove this and add this one. Yeah, we can just go ahead and increase this. One thing, another thing we added here is you can see we can select the customers now. So if I just click this, you see we have one selected customer, which is a walk-in customer. So um, first of all, you have a bit to create a new customer here. And you can select the customer you want and by default if you don't select anything it will be a working customer the fact that it is uh, a point of sale most customers don't want to register themselves they just simply want to buy and go so by default it will be this working customer so i could just show you like you can definitely add uh, click on this and go and create a new customer and the reason why you create a whole brand new customer, including the roles, is that you can see we have a role of a customer, is that this customer can now log in, see their orders and so on and so forth. We can send them uh, the invite, but under normal circumstances, customers will be creating while they are just shopping on the e-commerce, they will be created automatically. So you could just go ahead and create a new customer here. We have all this, including the shipping address, billing, and so on and so forth. Maybe we should just like, test it out. I'm just going to create another one for curiosity and make this one active. And then just go here, select roll, and we just give it a role of a customer. And just leave these ones like this. Let's go ahead and just choose also an image. And I don't know, let's just give it this image. Uh, just like this. Okay. Uh, so let me just go ahead and just like say save so i'm just going to create this and the password let me just say 
I like uh, login 2026 and I save the customer. Okay, so we just like save this uh, uh create the customer like so and you see now we have two customers okay so let me just go back to the point of sale okay and we still have two items uh, our items uh, they are not going anywhere but now you can see we have the second uh customer now like this but if you don't select anything uh, the default one be the walk-in customer and how we made this was really interesting and now um we can just go ahead and place an order we have two items let's make this one eight as we had said see this stop reducing i just going to just make them eight and just go ahead and place an order so if you just press an order just go ahead and just create this order and you can see when the order is created they uh, ask you to print out so you can now go ahead and print out so with the print we have this nice a uh, drawer coming from bottom uh we just use the drawer over the a uh, i just use the drawer over the pop-up that the drawer is somehow responsive and looks nice and it gives ability of someone doing something like this okay i uh, can just go ahead and print the print functionality works finely you can see we have the, these items you can see the murphy bait you have eight items the prices total prices plus the tax everything is there plus this you can put in the paper you want to print on and this will print after printing you can just go ahead and close like this and the closing it will clear all the items now you have no items this order has been made we can just go ahead and make one more order uh, so by the way if now <laughs> we go ahead and refresh this you said the uh this one has now 770 and this one has 580 okay uh which is really great showing this i'm just going to go ahead and just make this and this one uh, i'm just going to make this hp5 okay and let's go ahead and just press order and you just go ahead and print and you can close now sometimes if a customer doesn't want a receipt you don't need to print simply close okay uh then now we're just going to go back to the dashboard and now you can see we have uh, things changed we have these uh, the 23 sales the revenue has increased plus the total orders has changed and the total number of products okay so now uh we have these uh orders actually showing up here they are all for the working customer it is the type of sale and they show you the date plus the amount that was made in that order so we still have some things we're going to add for instance someone should be able to view the order we're going to add in that button for view order but right now the app is getting into really good shape uh where we need it we are going now uh we're not adding anything on the point of sale we are going to add in the e-commerce and then we'll be now getting closer and closer uh to finishing the app so thank you so much and if you want to get uh to be part of uh, building this app just simply head to the link i'm just going to leave and just scroll uh here you can just go back and roll and I will see you in class.